the red blood cells in a blood sample grows by 10% per hour in the first two hours, decreases by 10% in the next one hour, remains constant in the next one hour and again increases by 5% per hour in the next two hours. If the original count of the red blood cells in the sample is 40,000, find the approximate red blood cell count at the end of 6 hours. So simple, you have to just understand what happens over the period of 6 hours, right? It says 10% per hour grows, grows by 10% per hour in the first 2 hours, decreases by 10% in the next 1 hour, remains constant in the next 1 hour, which means in the 4th hour it remains constant and increases by 5% per hour in the next 2 hours. So if the original count of the red blood cells in the sample is 40,000, see original is 40,000. Now what happens in the first hour, second hour, third hour, fourth hour, fifth hour and sixth hour is what we need to look at, right? I mean multiply based on how it is increasing or decreasing and simplify to get the required answer. Yeah, what happens? Uh, it grows by 10% per hour in the first two hours, which means in the first hour it increases by 10%. It becomes 110 by 100. You understand? Increases by 10% means what? It becomes 110 by 100. In the second hour also it increases by 110 by 100. But decreases by 10% in the next one hour. It becomes 90% in the third hour. So 90 by 100. Remains constant in the next one hour. Meaning it remains the same. 100 by 100. No change in the fourth hour. And again increases by 5% per hour in the next two hours. It becomes 105 by 100 in the next two hours. Understand the only error which some of you may commit here is when it says grows by 10% per hour in the first two hours don't say at the end of two hours it increases by 20 percentage it would be wrong because 40,000 would become 44,000 after first hour increases by 10% right now in the second hour the increment is on 44,000 not on the 40,000 right in the second hour again it increases by 10 percentage so what happens 44,000 become 48,400 I mean, you can play with percentages also if you want to. I mean, this is one way of looking at the solution. You just simplify this to get the final answer. Final count will be equal to 40,000 into, you know, 110 by 100 into 110 by 100 into 90 by 100 into 100 by 100 into 105 by 100 into 105 by 100. That's one way of doing it. Or you do this calculation. It increases by 10%. You, you don't have to put pen on paper, by the way, right? 40,000 becomes 44,000. Next hour also it increases by 10%. So 44,000, 10% of 44,000 is 4,400. So 44,000 plus 4,400 is 48,400. What happens in the third hour? In the third hour, it decreases by 10%. So minus 10%. 10% of what? 48,400. Now 10% of 48,400 is 4,840. Yes or no? 10% of 48,400 is 4,840. So 48,400 minus 4,840. You're getting it. The value here will be 48,400 minus 4,840. So it's like minus 5,000, let's say. So 48,400 minus 5,000 is 43,400 plus 160. So that'll be 43,560. You're able to follow. 48,400 minus 4,840. I'm doing minus 5,000. So 43,560. 43,400 plus 160 because we subtracted 160 extra. Now in the fourth hour, it remains the same. No change, zero percentage change. So it remains 43,560 only. In the six, fifth hour and sixth hour, next two hours, it increases by 5% per hour. So increase by 5%, increase by 5%. Now there's one more way of doing it. I mean, now what you have to do is increase this by 5% in the fifth hour. Again, increase by 5% to get the final answer. So that's, so this is method number one. This is method number two. Or method number three, smart people will use effective percentage. What happens? Instead of increasing it by 10 percentage twice, why can't I increase it by 21 percentage directly? Effective of 10 and 10. 10 percent and 10 percent in the first two hours. It will be 21 percentage. Similarly, effective of last two hours also, 5 percent, 5 percent, right? Fifth hour and sixth hour. In the fifth hour and sixth hour, it will be increasing by 5 percent and 5 percent. Plus and plus. So effective of 5% and 5%. You know how to calculate effective percentage, right? A plus B plus AB by 100. This will be equal to 10.25 percentage. So this way what happens, I can cut down the number of steps. Instead of doing it 10%, 10% twice, I'll do it 21 percentage once. I'll reduce by 10 percentage once. This anyway zero percentage. I'll increase by 10.25 percentage next. So this is method two, let me say. This right hand side section. This is method one anyway. Method three. In method three what happens? I can, I, I can do it in this fashion. 
So it will be 40,000 into increases by 21 percent right? so into 121 by 100 you understand I am closing these two and writing it as 121 by 100 one step reduce this I'll anyway do 90 by 100 reduces by 10 percentage in the third right 90 by 100 this is not required I mean this 100 by 100 is same you know it's same right here zero percentage change is the same both are same right so you can actually cut this part yeah in the last two words, instead of saying increase by 5% and again increasing by 5%, I can say it is increasing by 10.25%. Uh, 5 plus 5 plus 5 into 5 by 100. So 110.25 by 100 in the 5th and 6th hour. So I'll do only three changes. 121 by 100 into 90 by 100 into 10.25 uh, by 100. And by the way, let me also tell you, you don't write steps on paper like this. Increase it by 21%, decrease it by 10%, then increase it by 10% again. 10.25 is approximately 10%. So decrease, increase by 21%. What is 21% of 40,000? 40, 40, it will be 8,400. So it becomes 48,400 like this. Then maybe increase it by 10% again and decrease by 10%. So roughly you can do this also, right? 90 percentage here means what? Decreasing by 10 percentage. 10.25 percentage, let's say approximately is 10 percentage. See, anyway, he's asked us to do an approximate calculation, right? So this can be approximated as 10 percentage. So what happens? In the first two hours, it increased by 21 percentage. In the third hour, it reduced by 10 percentage. So in the third hour, it reduced by 10 percentage. Fourth hour, let's forget. In the fifth and sixth hour together, it increased by 10 percentage approximately instead of 10.25 I'm saying approximately 10 percentage so what will be the effective of third fifth and sixth hour again a plus b plus a b by 100 so effective of this will be minus 10 plus 10 plus minus 10 into plus 10 by 100 so minus 10 plus 10 gets cancelled will be minus 1 percentage you understand the effective of third hour fourth fifth and sixth hour fourth hour is not there at all let's say fourth hour may there is no change so forget about it effective of the last three hours third hour fifth hour and sixth hour is reducing by one percentage so what you can do is actually you can reduce 48400 by one percentage to get the final approximate answer what is one percentage of 48400 484 one percentage is 484 so 48400 minus 484 to be close to 48000 let's say so if I, if I look at the options, 40,000 is not the answer, 50,000 is not the answer, 50,000 is not the answer, 45,000 is not the answer. The best answer is option C, 48,025. Basically, this should be reduced by 1%. Instead of doing minus 10, then plus 5, then plus 5, approximately reduce it by 1%. You will get close to 48,000. And the only option which is close to 48,000 here is option C. Don't look at the clutter on the screen and get confused that this is such a lengthy solution. There are three times the solution that I've done here, right? Number one, number two, and number three. The best one is number three. In fact, in number three also, we are clubbing third R with fifth R and sixth R to reduce one more step. Okay, so final answer should be close to 48,000 and the only option which is close to 48,000 here is option C.